We'll guide you through how to download mods from Modrinth. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Modrinth is a great place for getting mods from as there are so many to go and choose from. So we'll guide you through this step by step. To get started, let's close Minecraft. Now what you want to do is go and open up a web browser. I'll just go and use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. And what we're going to do is head to Modrinth so you can go and search for it, or you can go straight to modrinth.com. Here we are. So what you can do is go and click on discover mods and you can browse through them and download them, but then you also need to go and install a mod loader. So the best way I find out doing this is by using the Modrinth app and we'll show you how you can use it. So you go and click on get Modrinth app at the top here, like so. Now, what you need to do is come down and go and tap on download the Modrinth app like this. And now it's going to go and start downloading. And what we can do is shortly go and start the install process. But before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to place for a Minecraft server. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So if you're interested, I'll put a link down below in the pinned comment and in the description so you can go and get here. They've got so many great features like DDoS protection, keeping your server safe, 24 seven servers and support, which means you're gonna have 24 seven live chat assistance for your always online server ultra latency and instant setup as well. So I really do recommend it. But to continue, we now need to go and install Modrinth. Come to the bottom of your computer and open up File Explorer. Come to the left and click on Downloads and you should then go and find Modrinth. You can then go and double click on it like so and we can go and install it just like any other application. Choose the destination folder and it'll go and install. It's pretty simple. We can run it and have the shortcut. So now it's going to go and open up like so. When you open it up, you need to go to the top right here. And what you'll need to do is go and sign in to an account. I've already signed in before, but what you need to do is go and click on add account and you can enter in your Minecraft details. That's going to be the account you use to log into the launcher. Now, what we can do is come over to the left here and you want to click on discover content. Now you can go and get entire mod packs, but in this case, we're getting mods. So you can go to the top and click mods. Now, what you can do is start browsing through here and finding mods that you want to go and get. What you can do is go and search something specific. So for example, I could go and type in minimap like so, and I can go, go and see the different minimaps here. For example, I could go and get X arrows. So I can go over to the right, click on add to an instance, and then I can go and choose the instance. So the instance is essentially gonna be a group of mods. It could just be one, or you can add multiple. So I'm gonna go and create a new one and then we can go and give it a name. So I'll go and name this example, and then we can go and press create. Now just go and wait. When it's finished, you'll go and be brought to it, and here we are. So as you can see, I've just got Xero's minimap here. I could then go and press play, and I can start playing with that mod that easily, but you can go and press install content in the top right of the section there, and you can go and find more mods you want to go and do this with. Let's go and say I also want to have the simple voice chat. I can go and press install to the right and that'll be added as well. So you get the idea. You can then click on the back button at the top and you can go and see the list we have here. And when you're ready, you can go and click on play at the top and it's going to launch. It's now gone and loaded and you can see the mini map in the top left. And if I then go and press V on my keyboard, I can go and use simple voice chat as well. So you get the idea. It's that simple to use. 